Welcome to your Marks Max Muscles Amateur Grand Prix. This, of course, is a tournament featuring men that never once competed for the Olympia title. Here we go with Paul Grant versus Victor Richards. It's obvious this is a lopsided affair. This is going to be a blowout. But that you run into matches like that in tournament-style action. I never liked this front-relaxed position of Victor Richards. And you want to know why? It's because it's Aaron Baker. That's right. The synonymous pitcher here is not Victor Richards after all. We've all been fooled. And let's all take the time to thank Muscle Mutant. This is where I found this out, watching his channel. Great channel, of course. I subscribed to him for quite a while now. But let's get on with this show and the real front-relaxed position of Victor Richards. And as we would all assume, Victor is getting an easy point here. Look at the difference of the pecs, the delts, and the arms. And my word, look at those legs, those massive quads. The conditioning, I will say, Paul Grant. He came here today to do battle. He's no slouch at all. This is a photo shoot, of course, of Paul Grant. So he's getting an advantage, but nothing doing. Victor Richards, Victor Richards rather, won nothing. And I believe it will be 2 nothing after this front double bicep. Once again, I will say, Paul Grant's conditioning is awesome. Victor Richards never had the best conditioning on stage at all. But when you look at his small waist in comparison to the upper body and those legs, just unreal. His, his proportions are just phenomenal. One of the best of all time, dare I say. This is a younger version of Victor, so he's smaller. It's, it's giving Paul Grant a more of a, a, a just chance, let's say. But nothing doing, two to nothing for Victor. The front lat spread is actually quite close. My soul, Paul Grant is no joke whatsoever. But when you really dissect this, can he really combat against those massive quads and tiny little wee waist? And then boom la boom. Those big blooming lats are hard to beat. And of course... I know I use this as an excuse a lot, but it is true. It is true. The camera angle in this shot, in particular, this rear or this front lat spread, the camera is much lower for Paul Grant. So I may have even made him too big. It's probably shorter. Would be shorter. But of course, that camera angle makes him look a little shorter or a little taller, rather. But either way. I don't know. I'm still leaning towards Victor. The side chest also. Look at the size and thickness of Big Victor's chest and those arms. Like I said in pretty much all of the other shots, Paul Grant's conditioning is insane. It's fantastic. He was so underrated. He would have mopped the floor with the likes of Paul, or well, the likes of uh, Mike Katz, rather, and... Um, What's his name? Ken Waller, the evil Lord Ken Waller. But anyway, let's get on with this matchup. Here we go with the first and only, I'm afraid, back shot. This back comparison. This is definitely going to ruffle a few feathers indeed. Paul Grant, I am here to tell you, he had one of the most fantastic back developments of his time. They never once showed it or displayed it on that movie Pumping Iron. You may know Paul from that movie. Now, this was very earlier on in Victor Richards' career, so he has a little bit of a disadvantage there. I couldn't find any rear double buys competition, that is. And if you think this is just the, the lighting that makes Paul Grant's back so sliced and diced, have a look at this one. Wow! What a fantastic Christmas tree. And look at the striations in those lat insertions. Just unreal and totally underrated. And if you thought I was berserk for saying that he would beat Ken Waller, look at this back, he would destroy him. He'd cut right through him. Anyway, there is always this here photo shoot picture of Victor Richards. And look at those massive arms and little tiny waist. 
It is even even that, even taking that into consideration. I don't want to take this one away from Paul. You know what? I'm going to give him this one. He has such a fantastic Christmas tree. And this is the only comparison. There, are, Of course, there is this rear lat spread for Victor. So we got to pretty much give him a point out of a stipulation here. But either way, Paul Gran is awesome. He's, he's definitely losing this matchup. And there is, of course, this final comparison shot in the most muscular. And like I said earlier, Paul Grant indeed came here to fight today. He came all guns a-blazing. He does look fantastic, does he not? But when I look at Victor, those big, I don't know, 64-inch pythons, they're definitely in the 20s, those, those big massive guns. Just too big for Paul to handle. But Paul, he sure looks scrappy, doesn't he? I bet you could probably beat up Victor Richards, maybe, for whatever that's worth. It looks scrappy, like I said, but that is not going to get you a victory here in this tournament. Victor Richards advances on in these brackets. No. And wow, what a match that is going to be. Marco Savoljanen. Versus Victor Richards, my word. Battle of the Bulls there, no doubt. Two big titans. And of course, Jeff King takes on Paul Baker. Do not sleep on Paul Baker, please. I, I promise you, he is prime time and ready for action. Jeff King, unreal structure. Aesthetically, he's probably the best in this final four, but we'll see, we'll see. This is going to be an awesome final. The winner of both of these matches will face off in that final matchup. Couple, few matches to look forward to for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Helps me greatly reach that goal of 1,000 subscribers. Have a great day.